hello everyone Luke for Smith here doing another quickie reading this is going to be a short one um, on Saturday the 11th of September this is going to be of Jimmy Hill basically a um, a persona a, a troll persona Jimmy Hill was actually a real, a real person which we'll read about in this in this um, reading here he used to be a presenter from match of the day uh, unfortunately he passed away in 2015 so he's not around anymore um, but in the mid 2000s I think it was yeah like mid, mid to late um, a um, troll who used to troll Chris Chan used his likeness and name to basically troll him and make out that um, Jimmy Hill was a creator of a um, Sonic U fan comic in the UK and made Sonic U gay and all in his like leather gear and everything like that which obviously because Chris Chan was homophobic back then he absolutely hated it so we're going to have a little read of this Troll Disclosure This persona was created or used by trolls to manipulate Chris although his identity is con confived C c contrived the quickie may treat it as as if it were a real identity because it was to Chris it is also funnier that way uh, yeah it's still recording just checking if it's recording got a quote here Jimmy Hill is a thief and 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 a imposter do not buy his imposter Sonic you crap that was Chris on Jimmy curse you Jimmy Hill <laughs> Chris making his feelings clear. Jimmy Hill, 22nd of July, 1928 to 19th of December, 2015, was a British soccer presenter known for hosting B the BBC Match of the Day from 1973 to 1988. Oh, he stopped presenting it on my birth year. Okay. Also, yeah, um... They say soccer here, but I'm English, I am from England, uh, we call it football here. The Americans call it soccer though, it's, it's like different sayings. A something awful psychrant squad, SASS, user going by the name of the aforementioned presenter, used the alias of Jimmy to troll Chris, claiming to be the true original creator of Sonic Lou and Rosic Lou. Selling counterfeit Sonic U merch and aiming to launch the comic in Europe around September to December 2008. Uh, we've got a um, a thing here, so I just like read it out. Name, oh, oh yeah, this is the actual um, real information right here. James William Thomas Hill, date of birth 22nd of July 1928 date of death 19th of December 2015 aged 87 oh he did li live a full life then hmm. gender male nationality British race white obligation op obligation op football pundit and copy copyright violator <laughs> um, yeah this is basically what he looks like a bit of a small image but yeah it's basically him Jimmy Hill's work. Jimmy Hill's version of Sonic Lou was a homo, with Blake as his boyfriend and Rosie Lou as his gal pal. He revered, he, he revered, he revered Mary Lee Walsh as his mother and Jimmy Hill as his father, and battled Chris Clue, Chris Clue's giant jerk bot. <laughs> Hill also sold official merch, including a muscle bra suitable for Gen for generatic females and overweight men who are uncertain about their sexuality we're going to have a look at some of these pictures um, in a minute Chris responds in September 2008 Chris first responded to an unauthorized sales merc sales referring to him as Jerry Hill the next month Chris raged more openly against Jimmy Hill pointing out that Hill's work is, is an obvious rip off of his and ignoring 
that he's not the only one regarding the ripoffs. Yet yeah, not the only one to talk regarding ripoffs. He and Panda Halo plan to sue Jimmy, but and re <coughs> and re when she said, "I hope someone cuts off his penis." In real life, <laughs> in, oh, in in IRC, I think that's like a cat log thing. Chris made the statement, "I hope he loses his duck." His fans on ED left a sign reading Encyclopedia Dramatica loves the Jimmy Hill on Chris's lawn in on Halloween 2008. A year later, he tore up the sign on on YouTube. He kept that sign for a year, really. During the Miyamoto saga, Chris gr granulously stated, "I declare." I'm just put my mouse up there. I declare another step forward in the Sonic League game project and the downfall of the imposter Glimmy Hill. I have also informed them of of Sarah Michelle's message of Sega of of Sega of Japan learning to pay the imposter. But Takashi is it Ta yeah, Takashi will almost certainly step up and avert the mistake being made. And hopefully, with their help, I will be able to claim the copyrights in the UK that should have been mine in the first place. I have already taken them to, Vig to Virginia Library of Congress. By February 2009, the SASS board collapsed and, and Gimme's hit, and Gimme's site has gone quiet. Chris wised, Chris wised up and decided he was no longer a threat, despite Trolls insisting that, that Gimme has successfully launched his cartoon in the UK. But then amending the Chris Clan ED page, Chris was enraged by the idea of Gimme becoming mayor of Crickville. This would Chris would exact his revenge on Gimme in Sonic Crew number ten, where Gimme is struck by a hyper beam launched by Chris, knocking out his front teeth in the process. Basically, like a fan video. Last time I played a video on this was like that Chris Clan making out um, video in the um, Team Toon Squad thing. Uh, I got a, like a copyright claim on it, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play that. So that that was this is essentially it. Let me just bring the, the these things up here. Uh, let me just nope, not back. We don't go back. What the hell are you doing? There you go. Okay, so let's just bring these up. Uh, that needs to be censored, so I won't, I won't bring them all up. <clears throat> um, okay, yeah, so yeah, it should be alright. Alright, so this is a um, Chris Clan drawing, like comic. Looks crap, and it obviously like pasted on pictures and stuff. Uh, this is the um, spoof Sonic U thing, like the gay version. Um, this is uh, Gimme Hill. To be fair, like uh, I don't know who the artist was for this, but the art looks very good. Sonic U as your true original creator, I command you to zap that wanker. <laughs> that is funny. You, you can you can tell it's British. Oh. Chris Q's giant jerk bot is heading straight for the city and there's like Jimmy Hill right there and um, gay Sonic Q with his like arms are flailing because he's gay. <laughs> like really flamboyant. <laughs> um, this is, yeah, this is like a spoof of like Chris's yeah, yeah, I'm on TV but this is like a Jimmy Hill version to basically troll Chris more. I don't know, like, like like are they photoshopped on there? No, they're actually real printed off. Obviously on like fake DVD cases though. That's that's the thing. Boxes look tatty. They could like got better boxes. And this is like a fake photoshopped advertisement. Let's give it a read. Um, for Sonic Lee fans across Europe, the rate is nearly over. Sonic Lee diecast figurine for fifty nine pounds ninety nine pennies. Accessories not included. If you haven't heard of Sonic Who, where have you been? 
The funkiest, sassiest, coolest electric Pokemon Hedgehog is coming to a store near you. Be prepared for the biggest toy from Fanana since Pokemon itself. Ad adventures with your favourite characters from the world of Sonic Q, Argus around the corner. Collect them all, Sonic Q, Rosie Q and Blake. Let's see if I can read this copyright. Sonic Q and all related characters are the original creation of uh, Gimme Hill. Copyright 2008. Right. That, that's basically it. That was essentially it. Um, a nice, short, just over 10 minute reading. Um, so, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video.